and um, some interesting things to say the least. Let's pull this up for you guys. Um, so for one, come straight from Twitter, uh, from Twigital. Will Fix, of course, introduced Twigital on his channel. So for some of you guys that are aware of it, here's kind of a, another uh, thing that we'll expand upon. So, yes, yeah, so let's pull this up. Many of you guys heard of the whole concept of digital twins. We talk about it with many things, not just Hedera, Jasmine, quite a few things, right? So as you can see here, in this clip, Hedera founder and Hashgraph inventor, Dr. Lehman Baird, and Jesse discuss just how powerful the files that digital twill or twigital, excuse me, creates really, really are basically. Look who's mentioned here. Uh, tokenize everything built on Hedera. This is a minute, 34 seconds. We'll play it and then we'll take you to some other things um, in regards to Twigital, where you can get it if you choose to do so. The whole shebang. Appreciate the coverage. All we ask you to do is smash the like. Let's go ahead and play this. Thanks again for being here. Here we go. The cool thing about these USD files is that this is what Twigital creates. You can create scenes from these files. So you can have a blank canvas and put things in, you know, in motion. We can spin this and make a movie of it. We can orbit this with another object that you like or do things. And we're just at the leading edge of that. And I think those types of things, after you make a Twigital and you have this basic file, I think of it the same way as when you describe people, you provided this beautiful layer one network with all these native services that allow us to do this. And I'm imagining you thinking, what cool things will people build? And you've said this with or on Hedera. And I feel the very same way when people use Twigital, I view it as this basic utility, just like a water faucet. This is how you create them. And then after you create them, there's so many things you'll be able to do with them, including making movies, making animations, making you know, a basket of insurable goods to sell to an insurer, you know, whatever you want to do. But we're just the utility that creates these objects and then they will end up populating these, all of these spaces that we're talking about, shared, shared worlds, I suppose, included in that. Very good, that's, that's exciting. So I'm looking forward to this future uh, where we have assets like these that you can go and maybe there's marketplaces for assets where you can do it. You can build your own movie, you can build your own environment. I guess the USD files probably include things like rigging. They even have that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's really cool. Yeah. So you could ultimately have these things uh, very easily bring them into your movie and make them then do things in your movie. Um, I love that. So this whole thing, right, that they're talking about, Twigital, in regards to Hedera's form of digital twins, if you will. You know, some people ask, like, what's the significance of it and so on. You may have saw it over on Will Fix This side of things. I'd be with you. I'd be wondering about it as well. Um, so for one, you know, you can go out and get this. But, you know, if you're a newcomer, you're like, I don't know what digital twins are. Like, what the heck is that? Well, I'd be asking the same question. So the definition of a digital twin is a virtual representation, basically, of a physical object. Um, that process or system that is updated with, for instance, real time data from sensors and other sources. Hence why when we did all the Jasmine coverage, you know, all those sensors, the Internet of Things should be your key takeaway. This allows users to monitor the performance of the real world object or system, identi identify, excuse me, potential problems, make better decisions on how to operate and maintain just that. Um, a little bit more to elaborate on in regards to digital twins, just in case you weren't aware of this. Uh, they're used, obviously, in a variety of ways uh, for multiple different industries, uh, including manufacturing, healthcare, for instance, transportation. Um, digital twins are basically used to monitor the performance of machinery, equipment. Um, on top of that, basically, uh, potential problems before, like, they cause downtime. I mean, those are, you know, some things that are good to point out. Um, they can optimize production processes. Um, back to the whole thing of healthcare, digital twins can be used to personalize, for instance, models of patients' bodies, you know, to get a bigger perspective. You know, why uh, use somebody as a, uh, for instance, you know, a guinea pig when you could use a 3D model of that, right? Get where I'm going with that. Um, they can use digital twins to, you know, treat plans to monitor patients' progress. Um, 
in, in regards to digital twins and transportation, used to monitor the performance of vehicles, infrastructure, optimize traffic flow. I mean, this is a great thing that benefit anybody who's been to Los Angeles. It's like an absolute nightmare as far as traffic. I mean, I've been there multiple times. Last time I was there, I literally needed to go four miles and I was stuck in traffic for four hours. It's beyond ridiculous, right? Can improve safety. Um, but another key thing that stands out in regards to all this is the bottom line is all that stuff sounds good, right? But can it reduce costs? The answer is yes. Digital twins can help reduce costs by optimizing maintenance schedules, same lifespan of physical assets. There's, of course, lots of things and challenges um, in regards to the cost implementation, all this. I won't talk your ear off about that. But I want to take you over to actually Twigital. There is a medium write up about the whole thing. And what you're going to see right here is, for instance, this write up from six days ago from uh, Reverend Cynthia Pustelak, Safeth Ministries. And on this, it talks about monitoring just that the digital, uh, the twigital situation, because we were talking about Hedera and twigital, exploring the intellectual property um, concerns. As you can see here, it does have the little Hedera logo. And of course, they have the intro about this and so on. But in regards to twigital, uh, they entered the arena with a concept that raises questions about the boundaries of intellectual properties. It says, while simulators exist, Safeth Ministries is taking a measured approach, contemplating its next steps. Uh, for instance, the emergence of Twigital. So check this out for a second. So the interest or the intriguing aspect is that both Safeth Ministries and Twigital work with digital assets in innovative ways. For one, leveraging blockchain tech. However, Safeth Ministries initials claims, initial claims, I should say, involve the use of dual NFTs for authenticity, traceability, which may differ from Twigital's approach. And when you guys watch that video from Will Fix, it shows, for instance, a boxing glove. And it talks about how, you know, if you're going to try this out, to use a certain type of lining. But the point was that you're, bre uh, you're bringing this to kind of like almost like a realistic point of view from a 3D perspective. And when I mentioned the whole thing about digital twins earlier to you guys on an example um, in regards to healthcare, again, you know, having a 3D representation of, uh, for instance, like a human body or certain parts and so on, it can be used in numerous different examples for multiple different use cases. In regards to the intellectual property dilemma, there's always been just that. Uh, the heart of the matter revolves around the question of intellectual property. Safeth Ministries that we're using as this example has been diligently advancing its POA project, offering the retail industry innovative ways to enhance authenticity, verification, supply chain, traceability, customer engagement, and the creation of secondary markets. For you, that should be one of your key takeaways because the secondary markets, there's quite to be said about that. The key differentiator has been the use of dual NFTs for each physical retail item, elevating the level of transparency and customer interaction. Twigital boasts a patent related um, to photogrammetry. That's a mouthful, right? Services for creating digital twins. It includes specific details about recording information associated with physical objects, uh, distributed ledgers, and minting NFTs. Even, you know, the ones that almost look like photorealistic, if you will. While their patent may not explicitly mention dual NFTs, their partnership with Hedera appears to have introduced elements similar to Safest Ministries project. Now, before I get more into this whole thing about Safest Ministries and so on, I want to take you to this whole conclusion and why it should matter for you. Because why it should matter for you, especially as a Hedera holder, is this creates something very, very unique but built on Hedera. So look at this conclusion. As the situation unfolds, the tech world will be keeping a close eye on how Safe Ministries and Twitch will navigate this potentially delicate issue of intellectual property. The question of whether or not a lawsuit is warranted is complex, and both companies appear committed to finding a resolution that respects the innovative spirit of the industry. But there's been this ever-evolving landscape where ideas can be interconnected. Yes, the boundary between inspiration and infringement may require nuanced interpretation. Yes. Regardless of the outcome, this situation serves as a reminder of the importance of protecting intellectual property while fostering an environment of innovation and ethical competition. What does it all mean? Basically means this. 
Protecting intellectual property could mean, for instance, like what you see here, where you have an exclusive patent for the particular technology. Having this particular patent teamed up with the likes of Hedera is very unique and it creates a sense of supply and demand. As we know, basic NFTs, let's just basically call them like JPEGs and so on. The one from 2020 to most of early this year, according to reports, 90, 95% of them are basically worthless. But when you see the shift when it comes to utility-based NFTs and what they're tied into, it's a big deal. Having something that basically is going to, like it says here, um, protect the issue in regards to intellectual property is a very, very big deal. Having things that are verifiable on blockchain obviously is always a big deal. Big deal. Everything tied into DLT, in this case, Hedera with the Hashcraft um, consensus protocol, you know, the gossip protocol, I think also is a big deal. I always love to see guys from these particular unique projects teaming up and sharing their perspective with who else then? Dr. Lehman Baird. I've always stated that. I always felt that Dr. Lehman Baird is probably like the smartest guy in all of the ELT when you look more into his background and his lectures and so on and so forth. Um, getting into the last part about this um, that I want to talk about in regards to the Twizzle, this is, again is just my own notes and so on, if you're still following. In regards to Hedera, Hedera is looking to accomplish a lot with Twizzle. True. And of course, like it said in regards to the digital twin tokenization engine, right, with Twizzle, um, the main three goals or four goals that you want to take away about this is, for one, making it easier to tokenize real world assets. Me and Will Fix are always talking about that. A lot of you guys are talking about that as well. Obviously, Gilbert Verdian talks about it all the time. So that's a key thing. Twizzle will make it possible to tokenize anything that can be represented digitally. That's a game changer. And it's not just digital, it's physical objects, intellectual property, even experiences. What kind of experiences? Well, last I checked, when you go on a vacation, is it one of the main reasons why you go on a vacation? Is because, you know, money, you know, having money and materialistic things is one thing. But being able to go on a vacation, which don't get me wrong, takes money, but to experience those things on that vacation, you know, going to Italy, for instance, and seeing all that amazing, beautiful scenery or his, you know, history is an experience. How would you like to be able to tokenize that experience? I think that's game changer. And why is that game changer? Now think about this for a second. The reason why it's game changer is for the same reasons that MySpace, as silly as that sounds, was game changer at the time, but they didn't innovate. Facebook did. Facebook basically took all those people from MySpace, right? And injected them into Facebook, right? I'll never forget jumping ship from MySpace. Does anybody even use MySpace anymore? Probably not. There's a lot of people still use Facebook, but we're now that older generation that uses it, right? Most people that use, you know, the, the kids, they don't really use Facebook. So Facebook went out and bought Instagram, right? But the key thing is social media, getting our families together, uh, interacting with them, sharing our experiences. Take Twizzle, for instance, being able to tokenize anything, and especially when it comes to intellectual property, physical objects, and those experiences. That should be one of your key takeaways. Now, listen to this for a second. Are you aware that Twizzle can create more efficient, transparent market for those specific tokenized assets? Now, you may be asking, how is that the case? The answer is through Hedera's public ledger technology that will basically provide a secure and transparent way to track ownership transfer tokenized assets and even help reduce fraud and make it easier for investors like you and me to evaluate and trade tokenized assets is that such a bad thing that sounds cool two more key things i want to get into before we wrap up the segment empower businesses to create and innovate products and services you know it's one thing to be like hey this is twizzle and it's so cool, but it's another to get other businesses involved because that creates what? A thriving ecosystem. So Twizzle will enable businesses to create new products and services that were not possible before. That's game changer. For instance, tokenized loyalty programs. Did you ever think about that? 
supply chain tracking systems. We have thought about that, right? XDC and stuff like that. Predictive maintenance solutions. Back to the whole thing of digital twins, hence why they call it Twigital. Now, in regards to more adoption for Hedera, which is something we want to point out, there will be a drive for adoption on Hedera's public ledger for this particular tech. How so? Well, for one, Hedera hopes that Twizzle will make its public ledger technology more attractive for, of course, businesses and, of course, devs. Like we point out in regards to Stellar with Sorbonne, being able to have devs come into your particular platform because it's easy to build on is, is simply like the way to go all the way. And last, this could lead to increased adoption of Hedera's platform and help further grow its ecosystem. Now, for you guys that are holding Solana, nothing wrong with holding Solana, do what you got to do. But what was one of the game changer things for Solana when it came to the last bull market? Solana was a lot more cheaper way and a lot more faster in regards to TPS to mint and get things going in regards to like NFTs big time. They stood out in regards to that particular time frame, um, last bull market and so on. We saw Solana make a lot of millionaires, for instance. Your key takeaway should be that you have this thing with Twigital being teamed up with Hedera. This hits so much more than your just typical JPEG NFTs. This is game changer because it's physical, digital, and all these main things. But I want you to have the takeaway from all this be tokenized experiences. Because if we can have any taste at all of taking something that was so, I don't know, game changer, if you will, from the likes of Facebook or Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff, and be able to tokenize that, how much will that be worth in the future. Yeah.